and so I started this project yesterday and the intention was to have four black canvases and two orange canvases. Yeah, that is a lot more red than orange. The color I ordered from Amazon, I didn't realize that I ordered paint that wasn't orange. So, I will save these for some kind of Christmas craft. So, it is always good to have extra supplies. I had bought a 12 pack of these 8x10 canvases, so I have two fresh ones. And I had sent my husband on some errands to Hobby Lobby because all of the painting supplies were on sale too. And uh, it was actually cheaper than Amazon and I didn't want to wait for it to get here. So I got this orange color and a big white one, a big black one, and a green one. And then a four pack of these foam brushes, which is also on sale. So, I'm just gonna paint the second layer over the black with this new fresh black paint on all of it. Now that I have plenty, I can make sure it's nice and thick. I'm just gonna do this. Simple, simple. This is like the easiest part of this project. Maybe do a second layer after. So, as I suspected, I I think it'll look much better with two layers. So, I'm gonna put on one more layer of the orange. So do your hands wide. Go ahead like that. You missed it. Hands it might still up. be okay. That's that's fine. Okay. That's the spider. Okay, now look at daddy. <laughs> it's nice. It's cute. Okay, now okay. Let's go watch the baby. Okay, Thomas. Now, listen to what Nanny says. Nanny's gonna paint your feet 
and then we're going to stand on the plate, okay? This is going to be a challenge. Hi. You I don't think so. Is it tickled? Okay. Ready? Okay. Stand up. Put your foot on the plate. Ready? Okay. Stand up. Try it. Come on. <laughs> stand. We're gonna stand here. Let Nana guide it. Relax your foot for Nana. No, relax your foot. Relax your foot. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Whoa, that's actually really good. Thing, yeah, for this we need to do the opposite. Okay, let me do the opposite foot. You are doing so good, guys. Don't, don't touch it. I'm so proud of you guys. Ready? You're being good. Right there. You see the spot? Now put it right here. Ready? One, two, three, down. Oh. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move it, Thomas. Okay. It's all right. It doesn't have to be no, perfect. It's okay. <gasps> now you need to go to the slap sink. We just want to do this. Let's not do a. Just go for yep. it. Yep. Let's just go Think for you'll it. You'll be able to handle it. Yep. Ready? One, two, three, down. Let me push your toes. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, straight up. Cool. All right.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited with how this turned out. Oh, my boys are going to love it too. So before we move on to the next step though, which we're going to cut up some of this black ribbon and use it to uh, glue to the back and make a little hanger deal to hang on the wall. I'm going to do a quick review of this awesome heavy duty hot glue gun that someone sent me for a review and we're going to use it in this project. So it all came nicely packaged in this box here. And the kids found a pen and poked holes in it, so there was nothing wrong with the box otherwise. Um, came with these three finger guards. There are three different sizes. One for your thumb, other two fingers here. To help you not burn yourself while you're using the hot glue gun, so that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to use these for this project, but we'll just see how it goes. And then it comes with 12 good sized glue sticks here and instructional card. Steps for usage. It says to insert the power cord into a wall socket, which I did that over there. Insert glue stick into gun. Start with that. Switch power on and preheat hot glue gun for two to five minutes before use. Okay, so before we do that, I'm just gonna like show you the basics of it. It's awesome. This thing's big. It stands on its own. It's like the size of a power drill. The brand, if you're able to see that, is Monvict. There are two settings, 80 watt and 120 watt. So the first setting is this little single line up there and it has a red indicator button when turned on. The second setting is this double line all the way down to the bottom. So you push one up, the center's off, and then all the way down for your highest setting. So I'm gonna bring it closer here for this part because, let's see, when you push it down to the highest setting, the indicator light for that is green, and it's really faint. But there's nothing wrong with that. So per the instructions, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. We're going to start with the lowest setting. And I'm gonna let that um, preheat for two to five minutes before use. It says pulling on the hot glue gun trigger before proper preheating may cause the glue gun to jam. If this occurs, power off the gun immediately, wait for it to cool, then replace a new glue stick if needed. It's been at least two minutes now. Indicator red, it's on the lowest 80 watt setting. We're gonna test this out. It says pull the handle after heating and start your work. So let's have to prime it a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, the hot glue stick went down in there. So it's filled up. I'm gonna go ahead and stick another one in here to keep it going. There we go. Oh wow, there we go. Okay. So there's our first try. I'm gonna gently pull the handle. There we go. So if I pull it real quick like it comes out kind of gloppy. So you gotta if you want more like a thin line. Pull very gently. That's not too bad. So let's try it on the higher setting. It's been a couple minutes. You can see some of the glue is kind of slowly kind of seeping out with this hot setting here. So let's try it. Wow, that um, came out quite a bit more big long streak compared to the little one here. So this this um, hot set is pretty awesome. I think I'm actually going to keep it on this high setting for when we do our project. Okay, so we're going to start with Jameson's here. So this is how they're going to lay. So what I'm going to do is flip them over. As you can see, I use the black paint markers to put their initials and their year on there. Possible here. I'm just 
just going to go ahead and take this ribbon here. And so we're going to need to glue it. Glue it and like plenty to hang. So I'm going to just kind of cut extra from the top. So we have two big pieces of black ribbon there. This is kind of sheer ribbon. You can use whatever ribbon you want. We got some like little Halloween decorations or chevron black, whatever, white. I mean, it doesn't matter. But I want it black. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this cardboard here, just in case I have any drips or anything that I need to deal with. So it says it's cordless for a little bit of time. So I went ahead and unplugged it. to do this whole one cordless. Alright, so this one's pretty well dried. Flip it over, as you can see it stayed together pretty well. So we got this extra ribbon at the top, so I can pull them together. Oh, you guys look. So I'm not gonna leave these here because I'm pretty sure my kids will rip them off the wall in the morning when they wake up. But look how they hang so nicely. I'll find a good place to put these on the wall.
Oh, I'm so happy, guys. Such a great project. You should definitely try this out on your own. I got this off of Pinterest. You can find so many great things on Pinterest. As you can see, like the spider, like the fingers didn't turn out perfect. But it doesn't matter. It's not supposed to be perfect. This is great. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share.